don't know who H possibly plays. HP2 is the Olimar, right? Yeah, he's Olimar. That means he did beat Rival, as we talked about yeah, earlier. Like, yeah. Alright. I have no idea how this matches this. Ne neither do I, dude. Uh, this. I would assume it's a weird. Well, we did see. I, I, it was off stream, unfortunately, but like we did see Key take out I'm Hip at Silicon Chronicles um, yeah, this can, month. I can see it happening because Snake has the grenades and the to kind of. All of our recovery is really good against a lot of characters because he can just he can change how he comes up. But the key is also really good, like moving control. Yeah. So I can see why the grenades. All of our is really good at like the mid range where you throw a Pikmin, kind of throw an aerial to kind of keep you off of your grenades. I'm kind of like an answer to that because he can kind of sit far with the control at you, and all of our doesn't have too many turns to answer that. Not only that, it kills Pikmin. Nice, gets a two hits of War Tilt, sets up the up smash there, possibly trying to get some pressure there on HP2 and the ledge. So Toski really needed at that situation just to turn things around. Oh man, the tip of the forward smash. Toski forced to recover there, and I like the fact that he went for the forward but Toski able to actually power through with the up B. Yeah, it hit the Cypher. Yeah, you gotta be careful which one you hit, man. You wanna hit the Cypher Snake. Also, you have to do more than, I believe it is 80% of Snake in order to hit him off. Yeah, yeah there, there's a threshold, yeah, it's about 8%. Yeah, heavy armor, So good job to A little bit of a shaky start for Toski. Or I guess Toski. Solid, solid comeback. Bring it in now as he needs to lead. Almost last hit percent stock ahead as well. As I say that, he's probably going to take some damage. Nice, yeah, down throw. Oh, I did 30%. I, I don't want to think about that right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, n noticing how that went. All right, we'll take a punching over shield. One thing that Toski was doing earlier is like he kind of gave himself the spacing. Oh, no. He blew himself up with T4. Yeah, that did not work out well for Toski. Yeah, that's C4 is a good move, but you have to pay attention to what it is. I don't think it helps you see the other flash kit because C4 glows red, no? Yeah. So it has a small, like, glowing red dot. It's not as big as, like, Olimar's that you see on the head, but, like, a small glowing red dot that you can actually... You can lose track of it. Like right now, it's in the middle of the stage. You can actually see a little bit of the Pokeball. Yeah. yeah, you can see a little bit of it. So it can be hard to, to notice there because it kind of blends in. All right, Toski, though, just trying to get something started here. Sets up, uh, sets up camp here, possibly trying to get something against HB2. Oh, and he presses the trigger there. He's about to fight back hard on this one. Down, stock still. He did a good job sealing off that one, but. Got a mountain to climb. All of our being one of the really good characters. Like, probably one of the best characters right now. Yeah. Damage, kill confirms. Relatively just a safe character. Mm -hmm. Okay, Toski showing a little bit more signs of restraint. That's what I wanted to see because he was doing so well at the beginning of the game. So honestly, just kind of staying back, going for those grenades, just trying to poke through HB2 and possibly could find some follow-ups from there. But the problem was that he started pressing forward, and after that, it was literally with HB2 just finding in like options from against Toski. Like he punished the end leg of moves, punched the end leg of some, some of the other options. And there it is. Toski taking the time to sit back and throw grenades, but I feel like it's a little too late for that. He's already behind. Like HB2 has nothing to fear. He's trying to sit back, hold shield, throw a pigment every now and then. Yeah. Set so up that forward smash, and that would have been such a good two frame, but Toski's still able to survive. Rolling through it. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like Toski has been earlier, but now he's not taking 100%. HB2 going a little bit aggressive and just kind of calling off the moves. Okay, holds the grenade, kind of space himself. Toski looking for an opportunity here, but HB2 closes the gap here with those, those Pikmin. He's not afraid because he has two whole stocks, and he punishes the landing there against Toski going for that back air. Every snake loves to recover high because the sucker is pretty good. It has heavy on the don't do more 8%. Don't hit him out of bed. He's pretty fast with the two, but yeah. HP2 reacting saying, hey, he, he dropped Cypher pretty early. Let's go and chase him with the back. Yeah, end. that's what I was surprised too. Like Snake doesn't really have any options to contest anyone below him. Yeah. He has downer, but, he has like, downer, but it's not that great. Yeah, it's not amazing. It's not an amazing contest. It's better like a tech chase than a situation. So yeah, and, out, the, and one of the things that out. stopped Toski earlier too was the C4 detonation. Like he pretty much exploded himself up. Yeah, he did blow himself pretty early. We'll see what game two here has for Toski. Of course, his loser's quarters run. Um, so shout out to this man because he's one of Orchestra's boys, from what I'm told. So, yeah, Toski. All right. No, H HB2 is from Chile, man. That's, so that's someone else's boy. That's, that's I don't know. Some people know some people. That's fine. Neko Kotsu's boy because they they came here in, in a trio. People know people from far away for no reason. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Discord Discord groups. Yeah, but I was like, who knows who more Discord groups? So, let's see. I want to see Toski kind of sit back a bit more, play around his grenades, and maybe even like Nikita 
because I don't think I ever see saw him use the last game. No, he didn't. But the problem was that he had time to get the yeah. edge guard option too. Like it, it, the one thing that I do note that he does is he sets up even with the Nikita, and we haven't seen Totsky Totsky go for a Nikita setup either. But he's taking some damage here, and he's not. Honestly, he's doing good keeping HP2 away, but where HP2 punishes him is he sees the pattern in the grenades, the explosives, and then he finds a the punish there like there. See, he yeah. knew Toski wanted to come towards the center platform, starts setting himself Ooh. up. Oh my god, using the air dodge in the nick of time. I, I think that's the, oh, that was, I don't know if that was on purpose or not. I think so. He's going to be hit by the cypher after this. Okay. The problem with it is that Toski's moving in a very oh, fast no. He's not really mixing up his drift or anything. He yeah. falls one way and he keeps going in that way. And he committed a little too hard with the dash attack. Like, I respect it too because there was enough pressure there. But the problem is that HP2 still had a healthier shield. He had a healthier shield and he did have a range where he wouldn't cross up. So all, yeah. all HP2 has just the way in this. Oh, close pick against Punk Nikita, but doesn't die good the eye. And there's Nikita again, man. Oh, oh, great oh, great tech coming out from HP2. Looks like Ophir still is the tech. I'll take a lot of yeah, but this is the thing for him because I believe a grab. Like maybe 10, 10 more percent grab down to the up to the mic work. Oh, ooh, caught him with a question with the guy there dying to the upside really early. Palmer does have rage, but his thing is a heavy boy. Yeah. That's not a heavy boy, man. That's a, he that's a heavy man. That's a grown man. Fair enough. <laughs> that's a grown man. That's the man everybody loves. All right, so two hit of four tilts. That still won't kill. Here's the final opportunity here for Toski. He's not using that Nikita, and he waits for him just an inch back to the ledge. Toski just, he's almost at the hard receiving end uh, from Olimar. Yeah, he's already behind his stops again, and unfortunately, through the Nikita out. Bro, the Nikita is a percentage. Yeah. All right, Toski finally got his stock, though. Trying to feel himself out here in the neutral. Going back to that game plan, worked pretty well though, but what's the follow-up after it? Has a small sub with the Nikita, didn't go out as planned, and HP2 finds a grab here. This is very dangerous now, because now he is left in percent, and he's off stage versus Almer, who has Oh! Oh, he started charging SR before the people started to get back to him, and yeah. HP2 doing the questionable, uh, more glory taunts. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Toski's getting a little bit desperate, just back throw and immediately try to go for a air spike on. Nice, really using the up tilt. Of course, up tilt was actually buffed. <laughs> I don't mind, man. Yeah, I don't really mind. I don't have too much problems with this thing. But, uh, oh, yeah. there it is. Yep. That's going to be HV2 taking on that game against Tosky with a 20 and a handshake. Yeah, fighting like that. Very clearly. Yeah. Well. Shout outs to Chile showing up here to SoCal on their way. I mean, I'm so. Actually, yeah, shout outs. Shout out to Chile for coming here to SoCal before G6, because from what I'm told, everybody's already in NorCal. Yeah, and they, they're either in the, the, like the, mid, the Midwest yeah. area. And, and then I they're gonna go to NorCal like by tomorrow, yeah. I know Armada was at the loft for like a week and a half practicing like Yeah, so from what, from what I yeah, from what I was told a lot of people went Midwest or just flew directly to NorCal yeah. directly. So still shout out to Chile to coming making a stop here at SoCal, kinda like a little world tour. You know, stop at SoCal, then go up to NorCal for the final one. And for a major stop by the locals. Yeah. Get some practice in. Yeah. Shout out to them. Like two, three weeks at this point? Yeah.